This game is dead. Or is it? Are things really that bad for Hell Let Loose? The World War II FPS has actually managed to massively outrage a lot of players this year, literally losing them. Find out what the hell happened and how the current state and the future for this shooter is looking in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any new content for the future. Okay, let's get into the drama. We remember, a rather small but passionate indie studio called Black Matter Studios. They developed Hell Let Loose and released it as an early access title in June 2019, and gamers cheered. The developers offered players a unique and authentic hardcore realism first-person shooter, a game that above all did not want to be an ordinary World War II arcade baller game. Instead of fast-paced movement and arcade gunfights, it's all about tactical squad-based gameplay on large-scale maps, which is why many gamers like to call it anti-battlefield. However, this popular formula is in danger. The game was so popular that last January, Team 17 saw more than one reason to acquire the rights to Hell Let Loose as a public publisher, while also serving as a developer. Black Matter Games welcomed this acquisition and spoke of a gain in efficiency and quality in the creation of future content. Nothing will change in the vision of the game, and the developers will retain full creative freedom over the game in the future. Oh, really? Ooh. A promising roadmap gave the community hope for the game's future. However, Team 17's first update in April, known as Patch 13.5, turned out to be a disappointment as it introduced various bugs and glitches, such as buggy reload animation and grenade glitches. Well, the community was somewhat forgiving since it was the first update. But with update 14, it didn't take long for Steam reviews to go from very good to mixed. The main reason for this was a change in movement, which made players extremely angry. Why did the developers increase the sprint speed? Hell Let Loose was always known for its deceleration and realistic gameplay. So now why make soldiers run like Forrest Gump with full equipment? <laughs> Why are you running? The pinnacle, however, occurred this summer. Three years ago, Black Matter Games had literally blown us away with a stunning epic trailer that referenced war classics like Band of Brothers and Saving Private Ryan, reaching 2 million views. Three years later, we also fell out of our chairs, but not from joy, because Team 17 presented us with a true contender for the worst gaming trailer of all time, characterized by inferior graphics and miserable voice acting. I'm not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. No gameplay footage at all, just rendered bad looking stuff that doesn't even look like it was made with Unreal Engine 4. What the? Emotional damage! Team 17 apologized to its community, stating to remain true to the game's origins. But if we look at what the trailer was actually advertising, another direct contradiction becomes apparent. A new game mode was introduced in the Duty of Devotion update, offering more fast-paced matches with smaller teams of 25 players on smaller maps. Well, why not a Modern Warfare 1v1 Gulag? That's the fastest way. And that's pretty much what's causing the problem. People are shocked at the direction the game is threatening to take. The selling points of Hell Let Loose is 50 vs 50 matches in squads operating tactically on huge maps. And this trailer clearly gave the game that Call of Duty action stuff label. Now it's October, and how has the game evolved? Team 17 has responded and a rethink has taken place. Since then, the developers have been regularly gathering valuable feedback via so-called public testing environment sessions and are generally in closer contact with their community. And we can't ignore the fact that the devs have also delivered a lot of exciting new content, like the Burning Snow update, the brand new British Force as a completely new faction, and a new campaign, El Alamein, as well as many new maps, which seem to be well received by the community. And the reviews on Steam have also recovered significantly since then. Currently, the devs are working on new night maps, including variants of existing maps. The heavily criticized dive to prone mechanic will be reworked and the British Forest will get an overhaul along with new tanks, weapons, and desert uniforms. Instead of major updates, Team 17 will continue to improve the game through regular patches and gather feedback. In the next patch 14.4, you will be able to play the first two night variants of Santé Mer Eglise and Caranton. The update will go live on October 9th. 
19th. However, the fact remains that Team 17 has divided the community. Players still refer to the game as unplayable. It's a scar that needs to heal. But there is hope now that Hell Let Loose returns to its roots and remains successful as World War II simulation. What do you think about the current state of Hell Let Loose? We're looking forward to your comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications to see us again. And if you feel like it, check out our website, yourgames.tv, and follow us on X Twitter at yourgtv. Make love, not war. And let's hope that the next trailer might raise our hopes again. Until the next one, ballers.